Hi Beehive people, uh, welcome to the Beehive again. Um, uh, so this is a kind of like a creative thought for everyone really, all artists, actors, dancers, writers, musicians, poets, whatever you, whatever you are, from professional through to emerging, through to young people that are just trying it out or anyone just trying it out really. Um, and this has come from me having a bit of space obviously in this isolation period, reading a bit more than normal um, and and also kind of relevant to the isolation plays task video that I set for the B company, the free writing section of it anyway, um, you could see it as relevant too. Um, and kind of the thought is that we're always making stuff for a reason, aren't we? Whether that's kind of school, learning, education, college, arts council, funding bids, outcomes, there's all these kind of things that you're trying to hit all the time. And um, quite often, well, I know I've moaned about not having time to breathe, quite often um, and I've just started reading this book again which a very good friend and uh, work colleague bought me when I was particularly looking um, when I was particularly looking for a kind of a creative outlook when I was working inside an institution and finding it quite difficult and she bought me this book and I just read a little paragraph a quote from a poet called Allen Ginsberg and it's about poetry really but translated to anything so I thought I'd just read it out to you because it's inspired me particularly in this isolation period um, and he says, the parts that embarrass you the most are usually the most interesting poetically. They're usually the most naked of all, the rawest, the goofiest, the strangest, the most eccentric, and at the same time, most representative, most universal. That was something I learned from Kerouac, which was that spontaneous writing could be embarrassing. The cure for that is to write things down which we will not publish which you won't show people, to write secretly. So you can actually be free to say anything that you want. It means abandoning being a poet, abandoning your careerism, abandoning even the idea of writing any poetry, really abandoning, giving up as hopeless, abandoning the possibility of really expressing yourself to the nations of the world, Abandoning the idea of being a prophet with honour and dignity and abandoning the glory of poetry and just settling down in the muck of your mind. You really have to make a resolution just to write for yourself. In the sense of not writing to impress yourself, but just writing what yourself is saying. I felt like I was preaching a sermon then reading out of a book. But it's a book called The Gift if you want to read it. Um, a gift bought for me as a gift um, and I just was reading that and I thought oh that's the thing to kind of share right now isn't it um, why you've got space and time and it kind of read to me so why not in this day beehive people looking for creativity why not dance like no one's there why not sing like no one can hear you why not act like no one can see you or no one's seeing it why not paint like no one's going to view it and why not write like no one's ever going to read it um, and just get stuff out I think let's slow down let's make things for the sake of making them or not if you don't want to um, so it was a thought that came to me that I thought might be worth sharing if not read that book it's a great book um, enjoy your isolation period let's turn it into a place of joy rather than a place of stress eh cheers bye <laughs>